Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about threading a needle. Now, people are using sewing machines to thread needles, but me have not learned how to use my sewing machine. So, we're going to learn how to thread a needle the old fashioned way without a sewing machine. So I have my needle here. And I have this tool that I'm gonna use as well. And I have black thread here cause I'm gonna be using black thread. And I'm gonna pull some thread off of there, off of the spool. And then I'm gonna use my scissors to cut the thread. Have a pretty good cut there. Now back in the day I would thread this kind of needle just by sticking the string through the hole but as I get older my eyes and hands are not as young as they used to be and it gets more and more difficult but look at that. I was able to thread it without using that tool. Look at me, I'm awesome. Okay, but I wanna show you how to use the tool just in case you're not able to do it because I know that it's harder and harder as your vision declines and your steady hand is less steady. So basically, you stick that string through this bigger hole in this thing. <laughs> And then you find this and you can now fit that into There. You know what? I should have done it the other way. Okay, yeah, it goes in, it goes in that bigger hole there. Yeah. And see, you pull it all the way to the end, and then that hole closes, it opens up for you, and you stick it in this big hole, and then just pull it through. Oh, it broke, but look, still pull it through. See how much easier it is? I guess that one was kind of low quality, but I've got more of these, but it made it easier to put it through. And then you take your thread and you put it through the loop. So now you have a threaded needle and it has two layers of string right in the middle of where you cut it and at the very end where the needle is not at here just wrap it around your finger and then put your end part through that hole that you made when you wrapped it around your finger and take your two point two pinchers and you pick up the end and you pull it and make it tight and there's a little ball there. You do that one more time because you want to make that little ball there thick enough that if you put it through the fabric it'll stop and not go through at that ball part. So that there's a bigger ball so it'll stop when you were taking the thread through the fabric at that spot. Okay, so now you know how to thread a needle. And if anyone knows what this thing is called that broke, you can comment down below what it's called because I don't know. Uh, and actually, I never, well, I wasn't raised to use that tool. Like when I threaded my needles, I just 
stuck the thread through the hole and I didn't have that tool to make things easier. So if you have one of those tools, it's a lucky thing to have. And um, if you have vision problems or not a steady hand, you might think about getting those here and they're not that expensive. But of course you can see they're low quality too because it broke, but I have several more. So that's not a big deal. And now I'm ready to sew. So that is definitely life school skill. You may need to sew your skin together if you get cut. Most people here go to the doctor, but if you are a doctor yourself, you could just sew it up. Or if you were a nurse, you could just sew it up without going to the doctor if you wanted to. And um, if there's no doctor around, might have to do it yourself depending on where you live so or all the humans on the earth are wiped off the face of the earth if that ever happens you need to know how to sew your skin up so i started you off with letting you know how to thread your needle so also fabrics more often you'll come across sewing fabrics than having to sew skin up but yes i sew my couch when the dog puts holes in it sometimes or sometimes I just cover it up with blankets and things that rip I sew up and you can prevent yourself from having to spend more money on something new if you just sew it up and like if it breaks so that's your life skill of the day and if you have a question related to life skills or living independently email me at tanyadillardthequeen at gmail.com I'll make a video on your question Please have it related to life skills and living independently. If you like this video, hit like, share, subscribe. Thank you for joining me. I hope to see you next time. Have a good day. Bye. Mwah.